he's tackling every opportunity to make something that's going wrong right. Better call Bingo. Now, the bad guys out there, pretty sure that uh, some of you might fall for their scam. They're so sure, in fact, that they're willing to pay up front to send you their pitch through priority mail. A Newport Ritchie woman who uh, works for a nonprofit that helps veterans, she was stunned to get a check for $2,250. And that's when she knew she'd better call Bankin. Eight on your side investigator Shannon Bankin joins us now. She knew this wasn't quite right. She knew. And guys, this is the third example of this scam that I've received just this week. Lauren Price knew that this was a scam. She confirmed it with the bank that issued the check and then she called me so that I could warn you. Everything these crooks need to target you can be found on the web. A name, an address, a potential victim. Like Lauren Price who received this priority mail package. Immediately opened it and contained in it was two documents and a check. The sender was listed as Philip Heal of Atlanta. The check for 2250 bucks. The accompanying document tells Lauren she's been selected as a mystery shopper. Her first client, the Apple Store. I've run across scams like this, but typically they're email scams. This is the first time I've seen or heard, one, heard of one that was sent to someone by mail. Lauren was instructed to deposit the money and then use it to buy Apple gift cards and evaluate the buying experience. The employer wants the gift card codes, but were generous enough to offer to let her keep two $200 fees. If you deposit this to your account, you are now legally and could be criminally liable for reimbursing the bank for this money. Lauren received this package yesterday, and last night she started getting text messages from the same phone number listed on the mystery shopper form. She blocked the number, but again, she wants to warn everybody to be on the lookout for this. Third one just this week that I've heard about. Did she call the bank because you mentioned that the account was real? She did call the bank, and that's how she found out that the account is real. But the bank, they flagged the account for fraud, and they said that the account owner likely had no idea that their account was being used for this, and they potentially could be a victim here, too. So this is under investigation. So look out for these. If you ever receive a check wow. you didn't know it was coming, don't cash it. Yeah. If these bad guys would only use their intelligence for good. Right. I, know. I mean, that's pretty good. crafty uh, yeah, that's to pull right. off mm -hmm. uh, a scam like that. All right, thank you. We are forewarned. If you have a problem that needs solving, better call Bank of the Telephone.